don't drop it down. Turn on the power, you press the button. Slowly. Press this one. I can also bet more. Sure, Mustafa, you can also bet more. How about that ring? Get the fuck out of here. I've told you, it's a family heirloom. Don't get the fuck out of here. I'm raising 30. And I'm raising you 50. Okay. 20 more. Let's have a look. I want to see your cards first. Three kings. This is good, yes? It's a full house. Yeah, it's good. I win again? Yes, you win again. I like this game, Errol. Thank you for teaching me. Maybe you should give me lessons. The prophet teaches us to abstain from alcohol. Perhaps you will play better if you drink less. And perhaps you'd play better if you talk less. Deal. Jack, look, the truck. You want to check it? Got it. It's one of ours. How you doing, guys? Hey, we're glad we found you, man. We have got a serious problem on our hands, and I think you can help us solve it. English, no, not so good. What? Not here. Not here. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> that little rock music going there. Hey, listen to me, man. Uh, this old baby, she's running on fumes, OK? And we need to get a little petrol, a little gasoline, get back to base camp. Otherwise, I'm going to have one pissed off boss. <laughs> Station closed. You go now. No, no, you yes. go. Come, come here, come here. Give me a hand. Adel, 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 Okay. All right. All right. Hey, my man, you're a very good human being. Yeah. I am going to mention you at the front office, pal. There's going to be a little something extra in your check next week. Damn it, cowboy. Let's go. You say our ass, pal. Good night now. Carry on. We're five minutes now. You owe me a lot more than that. You can bet. You can buy me lunch. Have you ever seen this one? Like this, and then like this. And now you can touch the blue, right? Yep. <laughs> Have any problem? No, no problem here. But you've got one. Freeze! What the fuck was that? Company's calling and they don't look happy. Let's move it underneath here. Help me, underneath. Okay, good. Hurry! Okay, move, you swine. Let's go. Move on, you dark. Let's move it. Let's go. Don't talk. Don't talk. Let's go. Move, move it. Grab my hand, I'll pull you up. No. What do you mean, no? I'm afraid your means of access is a bit obvious. I must tidy up. Tidy up? Mustafa, these are fucking terrorists. Neatness doesn't count with them. Now, come on! Mustafa. Close the fucking panel. Get the driller. All right. I think the company's here. Get away from me! Hey, settle down. Talk to the Americans. Nobody gets hurt. All right, gentlemen. 
I look dead to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reload this. All right, gentlemen, set the charges. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Move, move. Let's go. Okay, let's put one over here. So, Come on, let's go. I go this way, yeah? Under the truck. Let's go. Anybody else want to take a little walk? This will mean a note from Mother if you do. All right, guys. Won't take long. Want to have a little chat? <laughs> CQ, this is Western Oil Station 7, calling CQ for anybody over. Now, we're running short on time, so let's get down to business. Huh? Who the hell are you and what the fuck's going on here? Now you seem like a nice guy. <laughs> get yourself all worked up. It's okay. You would be, uh... Carter, huh? I'm not gonna tell you no shit. Oh. Are you Mr. Carter? Huh? Yes. Yes! That's good. That's a good positive mental attitude. I like that. You don't want to fuck out of here. All right, folks. Will the following U.S. personnel please kindly step forward when I call your name? Archer. Man. Krajinski. Ross. Ross. Nations under terrorist attack. This is Merrill Ross calling Merrill Ross. Merrill Ross, he's gone. He's gone. We'll do tell, boy. He got a telegram. His father died. Took a jeep, drove back to base camp. To make a 447 flight out of here. Poor guy. Winston. Fuck you. No, no. Watch your language. Come join the fun, huh? Take them back to the truck. Come on. Go. Move. Move. Let's go. Let's go. Don't look back. Don't look back. Following personnel. Non-essential. What do you want to do? Come on. Affirmative. Probable hostage situation. I repeat, probable hostage situation.
Mr. Ross. Please. Please. I'm Colonel Hakim. Head of the secret police, right? I prefer chief of Khmeri intelligence, but as you wish. Now, I have a few questions for you, Mr. Ross. Look. In the last five hours, I told my story to a sergeant, a lieutenant, two captains, and some guy who was your head fucking janitor, for all I know. I demand to make a phone call to the U.S. Embassy, and I want it now. Please relax, Mr. Ross. Your embassy has already been informed of your safety, as has the CEO of Western Oil, Mr. Benjamin Brewster. Now, do you recognize this man? Yeah, that's him. His name is Rawlings. And those he led, they were Khmeri Liberation Initiative, right? How should I know if they were the fucking QLI? They were in a shitty mood and they were choir boys. That's all I can tell you. You said some carried American weapons. Are you sure? I did two inches in the U.S. Army. I'd say I know an M-16 when I seen one. Ah, yes, Mr. Ross. Your record is pretty impressive. The Green Beret, special training for anti-terrorist operations, military intelligence, Honorable discharge as a captain and now working for Western Oil as a technical advisor. You're well informed. That is my profession. I'm curious to know, Mr. Ross, why does a man like you decide to devote his life to a job like this? Isn't it rather tame? Not that it's any of your business, Colonel. But I've been in the Army since I was 18 years old. I saw a lot of action and a lot of killing. So maybe tame was just what I was looking for. What a pity you did not succeed in finding it. You're entitled to your own opinion. I have arranged a room for you at the Hotel Paradise. A driver will take you there. Stay in your hotel room, Mr. Ross. Now, why would I want to do that? We have a reason to believe Mr. Rawlings is working for the CIA. The CIA does not care for witnesses, at least not live ones. I'll keep that in mind, Colonel. Keep yours on too, Mr. Ross. Call me Maya. May I come in? Your company sent this over for you. It was at the front desk. You work for Ben Brewster? I don't work for Western Oil, Mr. Ross. I'm your Uncle Sam. Why have you changed? You'd better change too, Mr. Ross. I 
I wasn't expecting guests. Maya, it's a nice name. What's your last one? People in my business don't give last names. I'm a spook. A what? It's a trade term. I'm with a company, you know, Central Intelligence. Bullshit. No, really, that's true. What? Do you want to see my secret decoder ring? Look, if you're serious. I'm dead serious, Mr. Ross. Meryl. Look. No, you look. Meryl. You had a little chat with Colonel Hakim this morning. We'd like to know what came up in this conversation. Among other things, uh, Hakim said the CIA wants me dead. Hmm. We just might. If we believe this. Nice likeness, but I'm afraid my Arabic's a little rusty. It quotes you saying that the QLI staged the raid and that it was led by a CIA agent. Oh, really? I never said anything. Maybe so, but the QLI won't buy it. They're not going to like people thinking they're playing footsies with infidel spies the employer of the great Satan. Footsie? So the question is, are you going to play ball? You travel in style. Well, isn't that the American way? After you? Thank you. Mr. Ross. Excuse me, but uh, you seem to be standing between where I am and where I want to go. I think it would be better if you returned to your room, with Colonel Hakim's compliments, of course. I don't give a flying fuck what you think. Wait a second, Meryl. I'm Stephanie Harris from the U.S. State Department. Now, Ambassador Mosby would like to see Mr. Ross right away. I'm sure that Colonel Hakim would not like to interfere with any official embassy business. You will return to your room and take this girl with you. Get the fuck out of my way. Look, I can prove who I am. I have a diplomatic passport here somewhere. <laughs> Get in the car, Mr. Ross. You are now a prisoner of the Khmeri Liberation Initiative. Ronan! Come on, let's go! What happened to the cutesy college girl manners? The blood of my suffering Arab brothers and sisters washed them clean away. Why did you lie about us? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We know you said we took help from your CIA. That is a lie. And I don't give a rat's ass what you know. But for the record, I never said anything about the QLI, the CIA, or the KG and fucking B. You want to shoot me, you go ahead and fucking shoot me. He's useless. I say we kill him. No. We take him with us as planned. Soon we will free your people. You will be a witness and you will tell the truth. If you lie again, I personally rip your balls off with my bare hands and you will watch me feed them to my dogs. Now what do you say to that Mr. Smart as American pig? Ditto. I suppose you have a plan. We kill the enemies of Kumir and free the Western scum they're holding. And if you don't kill the enemies of Kumir fast enough, won't they smoke the hostages, huh? Probably we would. Untie me, I'm going with you. You will wait in the truck. I thought you wanted a witness. What am I supposed to see from in there? He's right. I don't think we should risk... Do you question my orders? Yeah, do you question his orders? Hmm? If he shows the slightest sign of treachery, shoot him. My pleasure.
يا سلام Right now, we all want the same thing, and you can use another man. So let's go.
clue. God damn it, Meryl. I'm glad to see you. I thought you bought it at the station. No such luck. Oh, Looks like you have to pay me that 20 year old man. Hey, guys. Who are your friends? QLI. You must be kidding. Does it look like I'm kidding? Who killed this man? That'd be me. Full I question for him. Felt fucking good. Okay. You've been freed by the blood of the Kwamiri Liberation Initiative. The QLI had no hand in your capture and no help from the dogs of the CIA. Do you understand this? Right. Good. We go now. You fought well, almost like an Arab. I say it was just dumb luck. Aren't you ever satisfied? Let's go, move it. Come on. See, you can make it, Atkins. Damn, hard to find good help these days. This is the fort from which just a few hours ago the hostages taken from a desert western oil facility were rescued by an unidentified armed force. The location of the four hostages, and according to some reports, a fifth American, remains unknown at this time. That would be Ross, Mr. Brewster. Both the U.S. State Department and the Kamiri government have promised to issue a statement, but so far we have no more information. Barry Tobias, the Republic of Kamir. What's going on with our hostages? I'm not sure, sir. The Kamiri soldiers turned them over to the U.S. Embassy. That's all I've been able to find out. Well, have you talked to the embassy yet? They're stonewalling. Wouldn't it be nice if there was just one idiot over at that goddamn embassy that knew his ass from a hole in the ground? Get Ambassador Mosby on the horn. Well, sometime this goddamn week, Atkins. Yes, sir. Checkpoint six, all clear. No problem, Mr. Brewster. Your people are just about out of debriefing. Of course we're not holding them incommunicado. We just need to get our story straight first. That's all. That's right. Oh, no need to mention it, Ben. Anytime. You have a nice day, too. Bye. So, Station Chief Linder, let me see if I understand your story. First, the QLI captures five Americans, then massacres themselves, fighting against themselves, trying to set these same Americans free, right? Well, actually, we identified Except them. Except I'm leaving out the best part. First, the QLI is helped by an American. The Khmeri Press says is CIA, and then later, by another American, ex-Special Forces captain named Merrill Ross. The hostages report that both their captors and their rescuers identified themselves as QLI. But we're still evaluating the possibility that both the... Evaluate this, Linder. Khmer is one of the few governments in this part of the world that is even remotely friendly to the United States. And you know about that announcement they're going to make, don't you? Yes, but... We can't conduct an investigation. Now! What is this ridiculous story of yours going to do to our relations? And more to the point, what the fuck is going on here? 
I don't know, sir. Are you going to do something about it? Or just read about it in the Khmeri newspapers? We'll fly the hostages out tomorrow. They won't see or talk to anyone until then. We'll take a floor at the Hotel Paradise, and we'll put airtight security in. What else? This Captain Ross? I wouldn't buy his story if Mother Teresa told it to me. We'll get him back to CIA Langley, and we'll get your answer, sir. We have to drag it out of him. Any traffic on your floor? Negative. What can we do about the air conditioning? <laughs> Request that transfer to Alaska. Copy that. Carter. Mm. Carter, why aren't you dead? Why ain't you in your own room asleep? No, really. Hostages are usually shot when there's a rescue attempt, and they had plenty of time to do that. Guys who don't let other guys sleep are usually shot, too. You're not listening, Carter. <clears throat> Thanks, Ross. That's what I need, a nice 110-degree desert breeze. Will you go to hell to your room, please? Doesn't make any sense, any of it. And why did Winston kill that guy? Maybe you noticed the guy's a nutcase, okay? Now, will you please go Betty by? We've got a long trip home tomorrow, and I want to get my beauty to sleep. No, I'm staying, beautiful. Okay, stay. But not in my damn room. You know, you're no fun anymore. As of right now, our engagement is off. Mm, fine by me, but I keep the ring. You guys, uh, uh, Secret Service or something, right? <laughs> Traffic on the floor negative. No threat. Hey, what's going on? It's, uh, Elvis here. <laughs> <coughs> hey, look, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me, all right? Mm. I'll have your excuse for <laughs> Just return to your floor. And there'll be no trouble. Trouble? I mean trouble. This is my floor. Look, I just want to try to get a little rest. That's all. <laughs> I got a key. That's right here, really. <laughs> oh! Yeah, great. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I had a long night, boys. <laughs> all right, keys. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, 
False alarm. Traffic all clear. Copy that. Get out of here, move! Go, okay, and go, move. go, okay, and go! Ah, uh, you lucky son of a bitch. You know, man, you look just like your picture. Don't worry, everything is cool, bro. Maybe you shouldn't stay in this hotel anymore. Trust me, I'm your friend. Airtight security. 
my ass. Sorry, sir. Where's Merrill Ross? We know he doesn't have any contacts in the city. He's got nowhere to go. We put surveillance on the airports, bus stations, train stations, all Western-style hotels. He's bound to surface soon. Linda. Yes, sir. I don't want to wait for him to surface. I want you to fucking find him! Is that clear? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. explain this to the military authorities? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I guess things got a little messy. You killed the wrong man. You leave four CIA corpses. The military is upset. Ambassador Mosby is upset. And Dr. Azil is upset. I have to meet him in two hours, and he'll want answers. And all you can say, it got a little messy. You fucked up. Yeah, I guess you're right. Things got really messy. <laughs> oh, by the way, Akeem, do you have any decent vodka you could put in this drink for me? Hakim. No, sir. No, it is not my fault. Remember, Rawlings is your man, not mine. No, there is no reason for panic, sir. That will not be necessary. We can proceed with your plan as scheduled. Yes. He wants to talk to you. Shit. Ambassador Mosby, I believe I asked you to bring a representative of your Central Intelligence Agency to this meeting. As you know, Mr. President, there are no CIA personnel on my staff. Your CIA chief of station for committee is Eric Linder. Mr. Linder is our passport officer, as you're well aware, Colonel. Four of the dead men at the hotel were CIA agents. Those men were embassy security. Liar! I can give you the, the names military of each knows one of Please, this is not the time or the place. Gentlemen! Mr. Mosby. My country wishes to remain friendly to yours. But we will not tolerate any interference in our internal affairs by your embassy security. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly, sir. And I am authorized to tell you that my government had absolutely nothing to do with these unfortunate incidents. I would like to believe you. In any case, these occurrences have caused a great deal of unrest in Komir. It might be better if I postpone the announcement of Resolution 57. I assure you, my government does not want any delays. I agree. Then we must proceed. Then we all agree. But first, we need to find who is behind this unrest. Comiri Intelligence will disclose all information it has obtained on the Western oil incidents to Mr. Mosby's staff. You, Ambassador, will provide what information you possess to Colonel Hakim. You will cooperate and you will seek the truth together. I cannot announce Resolution 57 until this situation is stable. Dr. Azil, you cannot expect me to release classified information to these men. Is your government friendly to us or not? Of course it's friendly. Good. I now present you with an excellent opportunity to prove it. Good afternoon. Hi. Nice music. 
Thank you. I like American jazz, you know? If I have time, I play American jazz. But now, I was like faking it. I must do him some serious practicing. Look, uh, thanks for letting me grab some sleep, Ackman, but I gotta get going. Chill, bro. You owe me like seven dollars and fifty cents American for the fare. You remember? And the cab? I owe you a lot more than that, Ackman. Forget it. You got a place to crash? Not really. Hey, my dear. You look like shit, and you smell like shit. You look tired. You go get a shower, and after that, I make you good food, I give you good music, okay? Trust me. It's a very safe place. I tell you, it's a very safe place. Okay? Okay. Sir, it is absolutely impossible for me to release agency files to the Khmeri intelligence. Now then, Station Chief Linder, do you not see this phone? Well, not more than five minutes ago, I was on this phone. And on another phone, a couple of thousand miles away, was the President of the United States. And he said, Dwayne, did you know he calls me Dwayne? He said, Dwayne, I want Dr. Azil to be happy. And I want you to make Dr. Azil happy. Now, what do you think will make Dr. Azil happy? A cupcake? A Twinkie? A Big Wheel? No! It's that you'll cooperate with his friggin' secret police. Do you get it, Linda? I got it, sir. Good. Hey, don't you ever wear any clothes? Maya. Or, uh, what are you calling yourself today? I don't know. I'm kind of torn between Alicia, Felicia. Surprised to see me? Not really. I should have known you were playing me like a flute. Don't be so rough on yourself. Speaking of rough, uh, how's your hand-to-hand -hand combat, Maya? Gee, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, Meryl. But you outweigh me. Unfair advantage, you see. So, what's up for tonight? Blowing up the U.S. Embassy? Hmm? Not really. I came to talk. I suppose Ahmed's part of your, uh, Sunshine Brigade. Ahmed's not with the QLI. And neither am I. Still a CIA spook? I'm with Mossad. Israeli Foreign Intelligence. <laughs> oh, you're good. Real good, I'll give you that. Don't believe me? Here. 
I've seen this trick before. No tricks. Ahmed's waiting in the other room. If you don't believe our story, shoot us. You're a first-class chump if you think I won't. Well, what's life without taking a few chances? Ladies and gentlemen, please. Soon I will allow you to question these unfortunate victims of this aggression. We have been cooperating with the American government in our investigation, but I'm afraid we have come to a most unpleasant conclusion. This attack and the fraudulent stage rescue that followed it was perpetrated by the Komiri Liberation Initiative. For reasons we do not yet understand, the QNI was assisted in terms of funds, weaponry, and personnel by the American Central Intelligence Agency. I'm gonna kill this son of a bitch. This man, Merrill Ross, an American who escaped this attack and who we believe was assassinated by the CIA, and all of the hostages have identified this man as the leader of the attack, his name is Lanford P. Rawlings, an agent of the CIA who has served in Nicaragua, Laos, Cambodia, and El Salvador. Rawlings went when he gave him 88. How did Hakim get that stuff? Because Rawlings must have told him, you simpleton. Press kits with photos and documentation will be available after this conference. Questions, please. Colonel, can you substantiate the charges of collusion between the CIA and the QLI? Give me Washington. Priority one. I'm not sure yet. And scramble. I can assure you one thing. So, the bottom line is, Maya, you can't prove squat. Merrill, in the next few days, Mohammed Azil will announce Resolution 57 that Kamir recognizes the existence of the State of Israel and all diplomatic relations will be opened. And when he does, man, this whole country is going to go ballistic. I mean, the CIA QLI plot has been totally manufactured. Why? Because somebody wants to march in and take over the country for themselves without having a civil war. What's this got to do with me? We don't know. I mean, you probably just got in the way. But somebody is afraid of you and wants you dead. We want to get you to Tel Aviv. Not till I finish some business with my friend Rawlings. I was afraid you were going to say that. What's this? Sorry, bro. Put it down, Ahmed. Put it down. I'm very sorry. Put it down. Put it down. Evening, folks. <laughs> this boy kind of grows on you after a while, doesn't he? Uh, well, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but uh, this party's coming to an end. Come on, man. Let's see how tough you are. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No.
Hello, Meryl. Come on in. Have a chair. Yourself. I'm Ben Brewster, CEO of Western Oil. We met when you came in country. Remember? Brewster. Ben, son. Just call me Ben. I've had my eye on you for quite some time now. Look, uh... How the fuck did I even get here? I mean, ah, what... you're all right now. You're just fine. You're in the computer complex of our corporate headquarters here. What about Maya? Well, son, she's being looked after. You just have to trust me on that one. Trust. Now, if you just hold your questions for a little while, I've got something I want you to see. This man, Merrill Ross, an American who escaped this attack and who we believe was assassinated by the CIA. Okay. And all of the hostages have identified this man as the leader of the attack. He is Lanford. B. Rawlings. Yeah, I got a bunny he's got a hat just like it. Is it beaver? Damn right it's a beaver. Watch your head there, son. I don't buy cheap hats. Try it on, hell. If it fits, take it on home with you tonight. Don't fit. Wouldn't you know it? Well, this is a wine cellar. This is where I come when I need to relax. They tell me it's uh, an old Roman cistern of some sort. Wow. Come on in. Watch your step there. You are one cowpoke. You bet. I'm from Texas, son. I love to collect things. I don't know what it is, but I just love it. Yeah, I can see that. Nice table. Oh, yeah. I took a half million dollars away from the Shaw right here on this table one night, son. No kid. Yes, sir. They called it the mother of all pool games. <laughs> What's with the pink ball? Hell, I haven't the slightest idea. I know it's one thing, though. I know it's time for my drink here, buddy. Nice bar. Yeah. I normally have a shot of warm Bombay rum with a human pubic hair in it, but... Out of pubic hairs. How about yourself? <laughs> no, thanks. I'll stick with my smokes. If I can find my lighter. Ugh. Tell me something, Ben. Is Rollins working for Hakeem or what? Not necessarily. Here's the deal. Hostages won't be able to say a thing that'll contradict Hakeem. Hell, if they do, Winston will tell them the story the way we want. That's why we planted him, just in case. Ah. So Winston killed that guard so he wouldn't tell a different story, huh? Slick. So you work for Hakeem, right? Wrong. Hakeem works for us, along with Rollins and his highly trained, highly paid group of Arab mercenaries. Us. Western Oil Corporation, son. That's been our operation all along. You're not going to try anything heroic here, are you? Well, hell no, Ben. Keep talking. Hell, I won't even need this then, will I? No, sirree. <clears throat> Here's the deal. I am evolving the idea of a corporate takeover one step further. Simple as that. Now, Hakeem is nothing more than a figurehead. He'll keep the natives happy, and I will have collected my own private little Arab country. Western will control the prices of oil at the wellheads, as well as the pumps in the states. It's worth billions, and in the long run, maybe trillions. You killed our own people, Ben. Well, it was necessary. 
Nothing personal. Just business. And what do you want from me? Well, a lot. Later on, after we take over. But for now, a nice little videotape in which you say the CIA has been trying to kill you because you know of their connections with the QLI. And what do I get out of it? What do you want, son? Merit badge? <laughs> money, son, you get money. Great, green, sweet stacks of money. Money. Okay, now let me get this straight. If I say no, you have me killed, right? Well, <clears throat> unfortunately, yes. But if I say yes, I get a yacht, Ferrari, Dave Michelle Pfeiffer, whatever, right? Yes to that, too. I'm no chump. I'm with you, Ben. Good, good. Hmm. Now there's just one small problem. What's that, Ben? Well, I need to confirm the sincerity of your greed. Okay. <laughs> okay, bring her on in, boys. You better be playing this straight with me, compadre. Come on in, honey. Join the party. Who is this lovely little flower of the East, anyway? Well... <clears throat> Merrill, don't say anything. I don't know, Ben. She calls herself Maya, and she tells a lot of funny stories. You know, QLI, CIA, Mossad spy. You take your pick. Well, wow, that's... That's real interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Why don't you just... Why don't you just kill her? Kill her? Yeah. Sorry, Maya. Nothing personal, right, Ben? <laughs> Just business. There are no words for what I feel for you. keep me around for a little while longer because we want to find out a little bit more about her. And we will when Rollins gets back. Oh, he can be very persuasive. Meanwhile, you and me need to get a little shut-eye. We got a real busy schedule tomorrow. Ah! Watch your step, Ben. You bet. You know, I knew from the very start that you was interested in this Watch program. your head. <laughs> Would you like to hear first? Oh. 
What's the matter, honey? Cat got your tongue? Huh? All right. The bad news is you are going to die, but <clears throat> it's not going to be with a bullet to the head. <laughs> Nothing that simple. But the good news. Oh, the good news. This. This could go on for days. <clears throat> I just hope you enjoy it as much as I do, is all. <clears throat> Thank you. I see you warming up to me. You know? <clears throat> Woman after my own heart. <laughs> what do you want? Whoa. Rooster thinks I need a babysitter? I said, what do you want? A match. Uh, light, fire, Zippo. Uh... Ah, Zippo. Yeah. Zippo. <laughs> Zippo. Yeah. <laughs> What do you work for? Huh? Ah! Who are you? And what do you know? Fuck you! <laughs> you know what one of my favorite spots are? Right here. Right behind the pretty little hat. Proposed takeover Republic of Khmer. See extended files. Timetables. Profit projection. Government officials as personnel. Floppy disk. Floppy disk. Let me put it here. Interesting thing. There's lots of sensitive areas. Well, you wouldn't even figure. Like right here, for instance. Belly button. 
best places. Those are the ones hooked up with pleasure. That's right. There's lots of sensitive nerve endings here. Take the areola, for instance. and the nipple itself. But that's really nothing. Because down here, <laughs> there is stuff that makes the nipple. No. Feel like old shoe leather. the nick of time. Come. Come join the party. We should have a little fun here. Shoot the fucker up! Shoot him! Yeah, that's right. Shoot me. And about 30 armed guards will be down here in nothing flat. You'll never see tomorrow. Kill him! Kill him, fucker! Yeah, take your best shot. You know, we can have a little more fun with your girlfriend if you'd like. <laughs> Good move. What is that, uh, Green Beret? You know what I hate about this the most, pretty boy? I gotta waste a good cigar. <laughs> 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 Didn't they teach you anything at Fort Benning, boy? Come on. Come on, boss. That's it. Right here. Come on. Come on. Ah! <laughs> 
Mama told me there'd be days like this. Yeah? She didn't tell you about this one. like an Israeli. <clears throat> the fuck's this for? For last night. You could have shot me. I didn't think Brewster would give me a loaded piece if he wasn't sure of me, okay? <sighs> You're right. Is this what you're looking for? Brewster's whole deal right here. Now can we get the fuck out of here so they don't find the fucking dead guys? No! Shit! Guess what? They found the fucking dead guys. They found the fucking dead guys. Anything moves, kill it. No problem. Hey, Ross. You're good. Real good. Ditto. I'm very disappointed in you, Hoss. We got the files, Ben. It's over. There ain't nothing over, buddy boy. You'll never get out of here. Oh, yes, we will, Ben. Because you're gonna take us there. Don't shoot or I'll blow his head off! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! I said nobody! Move it! Hold them up! my way. Move it. Truck. Truck. No, helicopter. Move. Follow them up. I said move it. Don't let them get away. Maggot Frank, fucking sit on your hands! Sit on your hands! Sit on them! Look, okay. we can still make a deal here. It's you not... move, or I'll blow your fucking head off. You understand? You sure you can fly this thing, Maya? Of course, every agent at my level went to flight school. Okay. We can still cut a deal. I can call these men off. Millions of dollars. Think about it. Shut up! One move, and I'll blow his head off! Okay, now, this is the collective. This is Cyclic. Or is it the other way around? Maya, I don't like what I'm hearing over here. The collective, the silic, the blood, the dead. Come on! Will you just relax, okay? I'm just a little rusty. A little? Yes, a little. No big deal here. You need a manual? All right already! Just wait the fucking second! The starter's right there! Just push the button! Good! Come on, hurry! Move 
What exactly are you? CIA? Military intelligence? You're getting warm. Getting warm. Tell me something. Is Maya your real name? Of course. Of course. And what's your last one? Well, that's kind of complicated. So let's just stick to Maya. I heard it was, uh, Robinowitz. <laughs> You're getting warm. Getting warm. Listen, Meryl. After you turn Brewster and the floppy disk over to Ambassador Mosby, what do you say to a little R&R with me? Rest and recreation? Maybe not that much rest. Ross and Robinowitz, that's all right, huh, Maya? Uh-uh. Robinowitz and Ross. What's life without taking a few chances? 